Welcome to another how-to tutorial video from Cameras Direct. In this video you will see how to freeze the action of a water droplet. Well, using a studio with no windows this allows us to control the light inside the room. Once you have your room the first thing is to fill a large black tray with water. In this case we used a wok. To create the water droplet we are using an eyedropper. To hold the eyedropper in place we have a plant that attaches to a stand. This allows us to make sure the water will drop in the same location each time we take a photo. We are using a simple lighting setup. You will need a speed light, a light stand and a wired or wireless flash triggering system. Here you see a Canon 580EX triggered by the Pocket Wizard Flex TT5 units. To this rig we have attached a swivel adapter to a light stand which allows us to control the angle of the external speed light. The plastic shoe for the speed light is then mounted to the adapter and the wireless flash trigger will slide onto the shoe. Not all wireless flash triggers work this way. If so, the speed light will connect directly to the shoe. Move the light into position. We recommend having the light off to one side of the tray. The flash should be about two feet above the surface of the water. Point the flash at a white wall or surface to create a softer light. Just be careful of reflections when you go to take the photo. Time now to bring in the camera gear, starting with the tripod. Place the tripod in front of the tray about one foot higher than the surface of the water. For best results, use a macro lens. 100mm is ideal as it gives you more working room between the lens and the water drop. Attach the lens to the camera, making sure the dot on the lens lines up with the dot on the camera mount. It is important to make sure the lens is set to manual focus. Place the camera on a tripod, making sure that it is secure. To achieve this photo, we are going to change some of the camera settings by using the camera in full manual mode. First is the ISO, the sensitivity of the camera. Then we adjust the shutter speed on 2 seconds. Close the aperture down to at least f8. We are using f16 to make sure everything is in focus. Finally adjust the timer for a two second delay. This will give us the time to get in place and use the eyedropper. Replace the eyedropper with a pen or marking tool. Place the pen where the water will drop. We'll use this to achieve focus. With the pen in place, frame up the shot then manually focus on the pen about one inch above the water. To save you removing the eyedropper from the plant all the time, have a glass of water on hand to refill. It may take a few attempts to capture this shot. Fire the shutter. Remember you have a two second delay to move into place. Use one hand to squeeze the water out of the eyedropper. Your other hand to fire the flash trigger. We were fortunate to get this shot in six attempts. It may take a little longer, but it'll be well worth it. Thank you for watching. To learn more on photography, visit the How To section on the Cameras Direct website.